Okay, how's it everyone? Let's let's talk about South Africa versus New Zealand. Springboks. People, let's put the losing aside. I just feel we need to back our boys. It's been a difficult season last year. But this year so far, we've managed to have six wins. Yeah, three, three against France. Two against Argentina. Um, <clears throat> so that gives us five. And then one draw against Australia. So that's five wins, one draw, and we lost against New Zealand. New Zealand's one of the best teams. Um, not one of It is the best team in the world. It is, they are super top class, at least 15 players are world class players in their position. We can't take anything away from them. But I think for us as South Africans, we need to stand behind our team, make sure that we support them and have the goal end in mind. So we are thinking of the next World Cup. That's where we're working towards and losing against the best team in the world is it's hectic but it's not a huge upset because i think what happened today was that people the players went in or even south africa supporters everyone just went in with that mindset that we are going to lose against the world best so i just want to i don't know if there's any springboks going to watch this video but I just want to say I'm standing behind the guys, standing behind the boys, and we just need to get back to the drawing board, see what happened, clear our minds, make a mindset, mindset change, mind shift, and just forget about last year. I think maybe we stepped onto the pitch today thinking that, you know, we are, we can't do it, we are afraid. Because that's how I saw us play. We were afraid to, to run with the ball, to use it. We were just defense, defense. Our set pieces were awful. Um, things were just falling apart. There was no confidence. And that's how this whole year has been about building confidence, rebuilding the team, rebuilding the name, rebuilding the country. And we need to continue doing that. So I just believe that the best thing for us is to face this say we played pathetically but we know we are way better than this performance and that we need to get back to the drawing board look at the basics basics and yes i believe there are a few players that might actually have lost their spot in today's game just the way they performed they didn't um they weren't there they weren't up to the plate they weren't fulfilling their positions they weren't there in the position to defend where they should be they were somewhere else maybe they were afraid to catch the ball and run with it and get over the advantage line so yeah there's a lot that can be said but i just feel we as a nation need to stand together get behind the boys and that we can move forward and look at next week or i think i don't know when we're playing australia but look at that match and just say listen we're going to fix this thing. We're going to get our players in position. Start um, looking at who we have. I know we've had a blow with Kuni Oestazen and Yaku Krill. But we need to see how we're going to use the rest of the squad. Um, Pollard, I see, is, is back and he, he played a bit today. I haven't, I don't watch the full game. But, <clears throat> yeah, maybe get him in, in again and let him and Yankees um, swap out halfway through or something. But just start getting the team back. Get our backline running with confidence so that we can get in there, smash Australia, because we don't have to draw against those guys. We don't have to lose against those guys. I mean, we know we can win them. We can beat them. So we beat them, sort them out, and then we hit New Zealand again. But then take it match by match and not don't think of the past. Just club that man. That's how I feel. So, mana, you ball. Don't forget about all the other noises just focus on the ball and the ball needs to get over the try line on the other side and let's do it cool
Elliste, jullie mannen, ik sta achter jullie volledig. Kom eens doen het boy. Yes boy, yes boy. Cool. Je gaat er niks van.